good morning just realized I've not put my mic on so I will rectify that before we start so hold on to your hats let's try that so let's try again good morning <coughs> and welcome in to this live this morning um, bright sunny morning out here today which is all good um, my name is Helen Jennings I'm a stumping up demonstrator based here in the UK and as always come in on a Monday morning to do a bit of bit of crafting with you and a bit of, of playing um, and we're going to be looking at a celebration set but before we do that also lying out on here on my desk I've got things that um, in preparation for things upcoming this week. So um, on Thursday afternoon, I have just put a, there's a post gone live um, a little bit earlier this morning um, about what's coming up this week. But we've got card and a cuppa this week that's happening over at Unit 21. So do come and join us for that. Um, Friday evening is my online class featuring beautiful moments and the watercolour pencils. Um, my, my way my online classes work is that I add you into um, a exclusive Facebook group and I go live in the group so that's where the lesson takes place if you like. Um, but then because you're a member of that group you're able to go back and watch those videos at any time, re-watch them you know, watch bits, um, stop it, go back to where you started, all those sorts of things. So um, that is happening this Friday, 7 till 9. But because it is in an um, exclusive Facebook group like that, that does mean that if you want to join and do the class, um, even though you won't have your kit in time, you can do that. And I will just send your kit on and you'll be able to go back in and watch that class once your kit is arrived. So if you would like to play with the beautiful you stamp set it's a gorgeous stamp set um, and the watercolor pencils this is the assortment two then um, do let me know and if you want to do that class and you already have one or both of those items then we can swap those items out for something that you haven't got <coughs> um, as part of your kit class your class kit price if you like and um, the other thing I've got coming up this week on Saturday is an all-day Saturday stampers using the dressed to impress um, and the papers that go with it and the dyes that go with it so lots of really lovely girly things with shoes and lipsticks and perfumes really pretty floral papers so lots of fun planned for that one so those are what are coming up this week and then next week quick sort of um, getting ourselves ready hi Janice um, getting ourselves ready for next week what we've got planning coming up is the just going to turn my sound off I always forget to do that don't I um, I've got a stamper stack next Friday using the um, timeless tulips bundle so it's a gorgeous stamp set um, which is a um, distinctive one so you get all this sort of extra detail in it and then there's a coordinating punch as well so we're going to be using that next Friday uh, so a week on Friday for a stamper stack um, and then the beginning of March right at the beginning of March hi Em I'm going to be doing a kit class with this seriously the best kit and it is a beautiful kit so I will get the stamp set you will all get your kit that's got this beautiful box and pop-outs and embellishments, the card bases, all those sorts of things. And we're going to get together morning Glenda on a well morning for us, tea time-ish for you, I suspect. Um, we're going to get together on Saturday the 7th of March from 10 till half past 12 and I'll lay on some tea and cake and those sorts of things and we'll make our kits together. So those are some of the things that I'm planning and are coming up. So if you fancy joining me for any of those, <clears throat> then do get in touch. Um, obviously for some of you coming and joining us for some of those will be a bit more difficult than for others. Um, so... This morning we're going to be using the Thoughtful Blooms and I've got the Thoughtful Blooms stamp set here which is a celebration stamp set. So this is a free with a £45 
order and then to coordinate with that we've got the small bloom punch which is also a celebration order and this is free with a 90 pound order so to have the whole bundle you'd need to place a 135 pound order um, but you don't need to do that all at the same time you can do those in two different slots but of course always bearing in mind these are while stocks last they may at any point um, you know at some point go out of stock um right but we're going so we're going to be having a play and as usual i was looking through the samples in the brochure this morning because we always have a bit of a case the catalogue on a monday morning and there's two samples in here i couldn't choose between so we're going to go for it this morning and we're going to attempt to make two so because i'm going to attempt to make two i have already done a little bit of cutting and prepping i've got a glass of water which i'm going to grab and have a slurp of so <clears throat> we're going to get going and both of these samples both of these cards um are sort of along the idea of the technique of making your own paper, making your own design and series paper. So using lots of little stamps to create your own paper. So I'm going to start with this one first, I think. And this is this one here with this beautiful, so you've got the gingham-y paper at the back here and these beautiful flowers on the front. So that's the one we're going to attempt first. So hopefully we have a pile of bits here ready to go oh well, we would have if i didn't throw some of them on the floor okay <coughs> so for this card we have got apologies coughing and things it's still got a bit of a hangover from when i wasn't very well a couple of weeks ago so we've got a rococo rose card base just there so I've already cut and folded that. So a piece of A4 card cut in half at um, 14.9 centimetres, scored at 10 and a half. We've got a piece of the in colour, the 2019-2020 in colours, and the Rococo rose. We're going to use that checked side upwards, and I've cut that so it measures 10 by 14.4. So that's ready to go and to be stuck on there. So let's do that. On the back of this paper is this sort of nice, um, sort of almost argyle type pattern. But we're covering that side up for now. We're going with this side. I've already stamped my label and this was using the everyday label punch I believe and I've stamped that already with that greeting from the stamp set that says I'm always amazed but never surprised by your thoughtfulness and I've stamped that in blueberry bushel because that's one of the colours that we're going to be using and the other thing I've done is I've taken some of this ribbon and the instruction said, and you'll see where I've, I've changed, the instruction said either cut or tear the strip. So I started off cutting it and then I thought, oh, let's see what happens when I tear it. So you can see here where I've then started to tear that strip off. And what's really interesting is it leaves the zigzaggy edge. I don't know how well they are. There are, that's better. It leaves that sort of zigzaggy edge on this piece of ribbon. And what you get left is sort of like a frayed edge on here which is actually quite pretty so I've got my edge so that's just the edge off of that ribbon that I've got that's going to be ready to tie around there in a minute um, I've got my least piece of card here so this is some very vanilla cardstock and this was 11 centimeters if I remember right yes so I cut this at 11 centimeters by nine and a half and then I've taken my half inch circle punch and just taken a nip out of either side down the bottom there so that's all ready to go for us to stamp onto um, let me grab some of my little blocks let's go with a b and c and let's also grab i um stamping scrub 
because I'm going to spritz this and have it on standby to clean my stamps with because we're going to be swapping colours and things so we'll have that ready to go right drum roll let's get going now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to stamp we're going to use this solid flower shape just here it seems to have got something stuck on it so we'll, or is it ink if it's ink that's not a problem if it's paper or something it's a bit more of a problem let's give it a rub that's it so we're going to have the solid flower shape then we're going to use this um, sort of star shape where are you just here this star shape flower here as our flower center and we're going to use this stem just here and then we've got the little bobbly bits that will go on our stem then we've got the leaf shape which is just here and then this little tiny flower just here. So those are the stamps we're going to be using. The colours we're going to be using is Pool Party for that one, Blueberry Bushel for that one, Old Ol uh, Mossy Meadow for that one, the Cocoa Rose for that one, Pear Pizzazz, for that one and then for that little flower we're going to go back to our blueberry bushel right so we've got our ink pads and our stamps raring to go let's start so we're going to start with this little stamp here this little stop solid flower and pool party now pool party is one of my old starling pads and i know that some of my old starling pads are starting to fall apart now I am going to bring in the, the lids come off them sometimes when I open them so I have to open them slightly gingerly so let's get our foam mat in there underneath because this is a photopolymer stamp and we're going to stamp about three of these flowers so excuse my arm while I just ink that up and we'll have one here We'll have one here and we'll have one about there. Right, we'll leave that for now. We could always come in and add more flowers if we need to. But for now, let's close that ink pad up and add in. little flower on there remind me in a minute hi Angie remind me when I'm looking for that little flower that I put it on that pool party case you know I'm gonna forget right so now we're going to go in with some blueberry bushel and we're going to stamp into the center of these flowers and I've managed to put an inky little blob on there hopefully we will cover that up as we go along it's amazing how much these little centers make those flowers pop there's my little inky blob really pretty give that a clean we are going to need to come back to blueberry bushel in a minute so i will but i'll shut it up for now so i don't put my hand in it and i'll add my little flower back on there and then we're going to go for mossy meadow and Mossy Meadow is this little, we're going to do that for this little sort of um, foliage, sort of the spray that has the berries on it. So let's have one there. We have one coming out there. We have one down the bottom here. Let's have one coming up here. I'm 
going to pop another one in here the chances are it's going to be covered by our label but just for good measure just in case it isn't again we can always come back in when we've finished and add more thank you Angie do share these videos out so that other people can join us it's always lovely to have new people joining us right we've now got the little blobs <coughs> which are the little berries that sit on these stalks let me just that way and we're going to do these in Rococo Rose aren't they pretty These sorts of stamp sets where you build them up, they're sort of, uh, they're sort of like a gradual wow factor, aren't they? Some stamps have an instant wow factor, but these sorts of stamps tend to be a gradual wow factor. Because <coughs> as you add more detail, it's just like, oh wow, that's pretty. Right, so that's our pink blobs. We'll go back along here for our leaves, for our pear pizzazz leaves. That's the one, yes, covered up our blue blob quite nicely. Thank you very much. I don't think we need to worry of one down there because we have our greeting to go in down there and then we're going to go back to blueberry bushel and this tiny little flower and we're going to scatter some little blue flowers around give that block a bit of a squidge right okay so there we have all of our flowers stamped onto that mat so let's have a dig about under here and we have got so we've got our card base and we have our hi Linda are you still pacing we have a baby on the way in the family so there's always pacing to be done while you wait <laughs> right, I'm going to wrap this round here should have perhaps made that a little bit longer I'm just going to wrap it round once I think and make it a longer bow that's better a little bit is twisty but that's okay because it's going to come under my label let's give it a bit of a that's better tie a bow Be 
because this is frayed now it's uh, not the easiest to tie bows with hi Sarah right there we are I will snip that off in a minute so we have that to go on there let's find some dimensionals now I'm sure somewhere yes I've got some large dimensionals that will be better with this won't it <laughs> we uh, we're watching and waiting with you for this new baby this is my uh, this will be my great niece that makes me feel so old but she won't be my first great niece I've been a great auntie for a good many years it still makes you sound old doesn't it great aunt makes you sound like it's a maiden lady that sits and sits and sews well no this maiden aunt this well I'm not a maiden aunt but this great aunt sits and makes cards instead right let us add this I'm going to bring it down a bit more to about there I think that on the front there it is very pretty isn't it I can't I can't take um, credit for coming up with the idea because we are casing the catalogue as we always do on a Monday morning we recreate things that are in the catalogues and brochures and this but this morning we're going for two we normally only go for one on a Monday morning but we're going mad this morning we're going for two because I couldn't make my mind up which one to go for right so the last thing we need on there is a few of the sequins from the poppy sequin collection and we are going to put a couple down here I'm using up what I tend to do is with my box from my classes when the glues start to get a little bit at the end I take them out of my class box and pop them in my box on my desk upside down and then I use the last of those glues so of course that does mean that when I come to use them sometimes it's a bit of a struggle to get them out so I'm just going to use these clear sparkly sequins from the poppy collection um, we want one more little clear one some of the ones in here of course are flower shaped there's some really pretty sequins in this Yeah, let's take a flower shaped one my fingers have got so sticky now that uh, everything is sticking to them there we are so just a few little sequins on there so that is card number one really pretty so we're just taking that's what I love about stamping is we're taking a blank bit of card and we've made all that pretty detail on there so that is create your own background um, with the stamps number one and now we're going to do this little one just here we are going to make a do a few little alterations to that one though so let us gather up these stamps we've got big flower little flower center flower tiny flower sprigs blobs leaves and we'll gather up all these ink pads because we've got a different color palette for this next one 
we'll see which ones we need and then put the rest away so here comes our card bases and things we have got some embossing powder in this one Thank you, Angie. She's not here yet. Um, Angie said congratulations, but um, baby's not here yet. She's on her way. Bless. First time mum. She seems to have been having niggles and been on the issue, isn't she, since about last Thursday. So it's uh, less them. No idea what to expect. <clears throat> Right, with this one we're again going to use this big flower but we're going to do that in petal pink and we're going to have, instead of using the um, flower that, um, this flower centre, sort of star shaped flower centre, we're going to go with this tiny little dot of a flower centre down the bottom here and that's going to be in flirty flamingo <clears throat> and then we're going to use our leaf shape again in shaded spruce but then we're going to also take this single leaf a single solid leaf there's both a solid leaf in here and a sort of um, leaf with um, veins and things on but we're going to go with that little solid leaf um, and we're going to have that in soft sea spray I think that's it for now and the greeting we're going to go with is um, congratulations which uh, ah, there's my little star shaped flower which um, seems very apt doesn't it for this morning now let's just pop these ones away so we don't lose them because that is the thing about little stamps like this. You do need to pop them away and keep them safe. I'm going to get out my little G block ready for my congratulations. Let's uh, lay that down so that it's settled nicely. And then we'll pick that up on that block. And we're going to need some Versamark for that one. Okay, so here I have got little post-it note because I, say I want to make some alterations to this so that was to remind me because it was yesterday I thought about the alterations I wanted to make knowing that I wasn't going to be doing it until this morning not trusting my brain um, <laughs> I made myself a post-it note um, so I've got a bit of here of a little scrap of um, shaded spruce cardstock and I've got a little scrap of whisper white cardstock I've made myself a side opening landscape card with some thick whisper white so that's a piece of A4 card cut in half at 10.5 centimetres and scored at 14.9 and then I've got just a piece of whisper white to go on the top which measures 14.4 by 10 and that's what we're going to be stamping on. So for this one we're going to start with our um, solid little flower and we're going to do that all over in petal pink now let's open up our petal pink oh that stamp is obviously in need of a bit of a run under the tap when we finished obviously getting a bit of fluffiness on it but that's the nice thing about photopolymers if they get to that stage just run them under the tap. Now we're going to stamp these flowers all over because we are making our own DSP and you always want to make sure you go off the edges so that it looks like you've cut this out of a bigger sheet. give that a clean and 
much out of our petal pink we might need to come back in with it in a minute who knows now we're going to take this very tiny little blobby stamp just here and the flirty flamingo so this one is a much more subtle colorway and we're just going to do these little flowery centers not forgetting our flowery centers that ink pad's on a bit of a wonk so i'm picking up ink on the corner of my block so i just need to be careful that i don't transfer that um, can we see the center on there just i think a bit of a hint of pink i can't see a center on that one There, so now we've got a little pink centre. Oh, that one's a bit off centre, isn't it? But that's fine. <laughs> Nature is never perfect. Now I am going to come back to that little blobby flower, but I will leave it on there for now. Um, we'll come in with our tranquil tide leaves next, I think. No, we won't. We are going to go. I think we are going to go with them. Um, our soft sea foam ones first. Hi, Div. Going in and adding leaves around all of our flowers. Making blobby messes, but we'll cover those up in a minute. You see stuck my finger in an ink pad somewhere. I love doing these sort of techniques. This is how we go on to create our one sheet wonder classes. Got one of those coming up at the end of March using the painted poppies. So we'll use our stamps to create a whole big 12 by 12 sheet like this. And then we'll cut our sheet up to make cards. That's always a fun class. Right, so let's, that soft sea foam is such a pretty, pretty green. It's a, Then we're going to come in with our tranquil tide, give a real pop of. Oh, are we going to be able to line that up? Drum roll, deep breath, everybody. That's not bad. A bit on the fat side, but that's okay. I've done it again. keep missing the end of that leaf it obviously is uh, needs a little bit of a rock on it Do -do -do. you're fine dear but I shan't put you in detention today Give this one a second one. We're now going to go in and fill in some spaces. We'll have a random leaf coming up here. Have one coming in here. Okay, and then last.
last but not least I'm going to come back in now this is where I'm going to go off piece from the um, the original they actually rather than use that I'm going to come in with the little flower I was going to originally use the little centerpiece but I'm going to come in with that little flower I think that we used um, for the other card I'm going to take my embossing buddy and I'm going to go all over the top of that with my embossing buddy Then I'm going to open up, I've got some copper embossing powder here. Now the original one had got the um, greetings embossed in white. But we're going to go with copper because I want to put some copper elements in the back. So this is where we're going a bit off piste because we're allowed, we can. I'm going to dig about and find my Versamark. Versamark's looking a very well loved but that's okay and I'm going to just stamp some little flowers let's cover up that blob right let's sprinkle on some powder and see where where they are because otherwise you can lose track of where they've gone I'll find with my copper one if I flick too hard it does um, will fall off. Oh there's another little one down there. Let's gather that up. Excellent. So right we'll heat those so that we don't knock the powder off again before we carry on and put some more on. So let me just let my heat gun heat up. Slurp of water. Sure, getting the light catching it so I can see when that's turned. Right, that's those ones. Oh, now we can see where they are. We can carry on. And we'll have one there, and we'll have one up there, one there. We'll cover that little blob up just there. The thing with these is you can't really see where they are. So you don't want to risk double stamping. Hi Karina. You can always go in and add an extra one or two at the end if you need to. Oh go on that one brush that off there and we'll just brush that off there right let's heat that up and then that looks like that might be enough flowers on there See, the hotter the heat gun gets, the quicker they turn. Blowing the powder about. Right. I think that is all of those. Just turning them towards the light, so catching. So there we have some gold copper embossing then 
in the background on our card front. So let's take our little piece somewhere. We had a little piece of whisker white card. So let us put our embossing buddy on. No, that's not the one we want. Let's take our little piece of Tranquil Tide card, rewind, edit that bit out, um, the joys of being live. Let's put some embossing buddy onto our Tranquil Tide card. Karina, did I say good morning? If I didn't have thought it, and if I have already said good morning, then good morning, good morning. We're going to come in. And we're going to stamp our congratulations onto this piece of Tranquil Tide. And then we will put some copper embossing powder on that as well. So rather than having a white greeting, we're going to have a copper one. Emboss that. There we go. Now I'm going to bring in my mini trimmer. This is where the mini trimmer absolutely comes into its own. And of course, the mini trimmer you can only get the mini trimmer if you sign up during celebration. But it is just perfect for doing little jobs like trimming up greetings like that. Now the other thing that I wanted to do, different from the original, is I did just want to, on this piece of Whisper White just here, I was just going to stamp a little indent, might do two actually, well perhaps let's stamp three and then we'll see how many we want to use. One, two, three petal pink flowers. With three little flirty flamingo centers. And then take our little small blooms punch and punch those out. Last but not least. So one, two, three little petal pink flowers and then we can decide where we want to put those. So we have got our sheets that we've created ourselves, our own little DSP if you like, with copper embossing on it. So very fancy pants designer series paper this one. This is a speciality designer series paper, not just any old paper. <coughs> then we need... Our card blank, I knew that I had that somewhere. That's going to sit on. And somewhere I have some um, linen thread. So it's getting towards the end of that tube, so it's getting a bit curly. But I'm going to lay my linen thread across there. Now I want to be able to tie a bow on this end. So let's <coughs> leave ourselves enough to tie a bow, hold my thumb there and then I'm going to wind it round a couple of times. There 
we go. We want it so that it uh, sort of twists over. Has that gone into there? Yes. Tie a knot there. And we'll tie that into a bow. <laughs> it's not the easiest to tie into a bow as it gets curly. We'll just trim that off. I'm not sure where my paper snips have gone. So we'll just pinch these out of there. Right, so now we've wound that round there, we can stick that on the front. Let's get the snail out because we'll put it down flat. The trouble is with adding too much dimension is that if you then go to put it through the standard post, if it's too thick, it costs you a fortune. It has to go as a large letter as opposed to standard first or second class post. So sometimes it's worth doing that, but sometimes you just need to be able to pop a card in the post. But I have managed to trim that so that it's wonky. So let's try and make it less so. in there on some I need some mini dimensionals for that one I would think Put three little mini dimensionals on the back of there so these little stamp sets with these little flowers and things they're fabulous for adding just little elements to something but that doesn't mean that they're not also fabulous and can um, create <coughs> wonderful cards and things in their own right we've not used any other stamp set we've used greetings I'm just going to use my bone folder and curl up the edges of that flower a little bit because we've got a flower underneath so I'm going to pop it up on top of a one of the flowers underneath do the same with this one we'll just curl the edges up a little bit with the bone folder don't want it to be too dramatically curled just a little bit of movement in it and we'll have that one down here and one last one let's curl this one up And we'll have that one at the top here. So we have taken this card here and we've pretty well taken that as it was and created our own version. And then we've taken this card here and we have tweaked that slightly because I think this is a bigger version to start with. I think that was a narrower note card. We've gone the whole width. We've added in some copper embossing and we've added in some three dimensional flowers. So there's two cards using a very similar sort of technique, making your own backgrounds. Just using that one little stamp set that you get free 
with a £45 order so it's a celebration stamp set and we also made use of that little small bloom punch that is great for adding just little flowers and things to gift bags and cards and all sorts of things it's a real useful little little punch um, but it's uh, that's free with a £90 order so thoughtful blooms and the small bloom punch those are our products that we're going to be playing with this week from the celebration catalogue so I hope you've enjoyed those we managed to do two so we're perhaps slightly longer than we'd normally be on a Monday morning but I was determined to get two cards done okay so thank you for joining me have a fabulous rest of the week and I will see you all if I don't see you before I will see you on Thursday evening so have a good week <laughs>